Okay, I think I'm almost... yeah, I'm right up underneath the uh, skeleton farm somewhere. Gotta... careful not to break any redstone or anything. Oh, yeah! Whoa! That was close! Here's a parking lot. I've I've decided I'm gonna build a diner. Uh, and there's the foundation. There's some bushes. I'm totally doing this in order. Uh, let's go. This accursed, dreary weather. Oh well. Um, laying a foundation. Well, not a foundation. I'm putting a border for a a, a flower bed here. And I've put the, uh... English mother trucker! Do I speak it? <laughs> I've put Podzel for the... Wood chippings that always go in, uh, flower beds. Yay! I finally said it! I should earn an achievement! Um... So, I'm just going to be laying this up, upside down, apparently. One thing that can be said for Minecraft is it is sometimes a simulator for, uh, for manual labor. Which, as a kid, we actually had to do a lot of manual labor. We had a lot of chores. Oops, wrong order. We had to do a lot of work because we lived on a farm. And us kids had to basically earn our keep, so we ended up doing a lot of hard work, which I didn't like at the time, but looking back, it was really satisfying to just see your work fall into place and get accomplished before your eyes. Minecraft accomplishes the same thing. And over here is the pull-up for the drive through window. Just need to put the final brick. There we go. It's ready! Not really. And in this corner is gonna go a tree. So I'm gonna put up like partial uh, fence around it. Just for decoration mostly. And I need to put down more pots hole. But yeah, I've seen little corners like this uh, in some rest areas and some eating outside places where they have a semi-enclosed tree. Oh, that's not a fence. But yeah, gonna do something like that. Placey, placey pots hole. Okay, I think these are pretty good for picnic tables. <laughs> Best I can do in Minecraft. Alright, now on to the main building itself.
make some benches or seats. Make some tables. Make some light posts outside. If I can, 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 get that up there. There we go. Huh. This guy just kind of wandered in here. Hello, sir. May I take your order? Guess he likes to take things to go. Uh. What? Uh. Oh, it's probably because I used a trap chest. I'll fix it later. the old Mario games uh, where you get the you can get the red and white growing mushroom or the green and white one-up mushroom well, I always imagine that they probably taste like those starlight mints where the uh, green and white ones are spearmint and the red and white ones are peppermint so I always thought that those mushrooms have a unique flavor <laughs> I've written, like, lyrics to Mario songs when I was a kid. I'll have to find them sometime and sing them sometime. I like working on the sun. I like the sun in general. Sunny days are my favorite. Praise the sun! <laughs> Almost done. Then I can start the moon. 
Welcome back, sir. Would you like some baked potatoes? <laughs> Gosh, he really, really likes it here. That's flattering. And here we are. Uh, still got a few adjustments to make, probably, and got to get rid of those dirt steps and all that. But we've got the uh, big lights here. Uh, you can go th underneath here to go to the drive through And got the yard out here. Got I like the nice kind of 3D effect when you look up at these. It's pretty cool. I got, I'm putting supports on the back to hold these up. Um, I still got to finish one of them, but and in here, oh, oh, in here, we've got the different foods. They're going to be organized by chests. We'll have meats and fish-based things in here, veggies and fruits in here, and uh, baked goods in here. 
uh, have uh, d drink dispensers. I haven't filled them yet. Um, got the tables done. Alrighty. And here it is at night, so you can see how it glows. It's uh, using the colored glass. It's the closest I can come to having, uh, you know, like stained glass kind of thing. And it turned out pretty good. You, it still glows, and you can also see the colors that I used. The moon turned out a little more gray than I envisioned, but I actually like it because that's more close to the moon's color anyway. Well, I, uh, I'm really happy about this, and I hope everyone else on the server is too. Thanks for watching me build it, and I'll see you next time.